Hello everyone and welcome back to Shanahan Militaria. In today's video we're going to cover this item and what this is, this is a, a PRC-6 well this one in particular is a PRC-66 walkie talkie or portable man radio. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the table and have a quick look at it. Um, this radio is very very interesting. So stay tuned. So now we have the item on the table what we're going to look at is the PRC-6. Uh, common enough uh, radio that was used f for short range communications from its introduction in the Korean War or just the start of the Korean War all the way up uh, till the Vietnam conflict and I believe the Marines still used this up until the late 70s. So um, I'm not going to go into the technical frequencies and stuff like that. They will be in the description below in the, in the, below the video. So I have the aerial here, um, as you would see for its storage type, it's literally just hooked into one of the hooks. Now this radio has a, a it's very interesting, so I'm just going to free the aerial. Now, oh, so that's the aerial freed. The aerial itself, um, from tip to blade, just to this uh, little piece here, is 21, 21 and a half inches long. So this radio is actually the PRC-66. This was made for the German army, the uh, East, or sorry, the West German army, when, in its introduction, and it was made by the the Americans, and or the Americans gave them their castaways, and it was literally just relabeled. So as you can see here on the switch for to talk, it is actually in German, and the labels here are also in German. So this little part here at the back. It's where you wanted to connect a uh, hands free so you could leave the walkie talkie in your backpack. Um, these had a few names that were known as banana radios, walkie talkies, or derogatively known as the Prick 6, PRC 6 or the Prick 6. Uh, this part here is if you want to connect a, a wire to it to turn it into a field phone. And this part here is to actually charge the battery. Now, little interesting thing about this this has actually been converted. So you don't actually have to have a license. Open. I can remember it open. There we go. It has actually been converted to a private owned or privately owned uh, walkie talkie or this is the Bofang 6. I don't know if you can actually see this here now, if it actually puts actually your battery in it. Yeah, this actually works. So if you watch the little light here at the bottom, so when I press the where the button is to key it, this light comes on. So it can actually be used as a walkie-talkie for, I presume, airsoft events, reenacting events, mil, uh, films, things like that. So this radio actually does work. Um, and you can see here on the inside as well, you have the frequencies in the radio channels um, are also in German. So that's just a little interesting um, thing about this walkie-talkie. Um, my 77 set that I will be covering in an in-depth video soon has this conversion done to it as well so you can actually talk between the two. So I'm just going to turn this off again. And then we will close it back up. And that's it. Pretty, pretty simple, pretty nice little piece of uh, equipment to have, and it's a nice little thing to have in my collection. So, if you got to the end of this video, I would like to thank all our new subscribers. Uh, please keep sharing the videos, please keep liking the videos, and please leave a comment below. And please tune in for the next video. Thank you very much.